Nigerian politician and the former aviation minister has taken to social media to expose what Ahmed Gumi's father stated in 1989 when General Ibrahim Bengida served as Nigerian president. Ahmed Gumi was a close associate of Ahmed Belu, the, the premier of the northern region in the 1950s and 1960s. He was also an outspoken Islamic scholar and Grand Qadi of the northern region of Nigeria, a position which made him a central authority in the interpretation of the Sharia legal system in the region. He has a large number of children, but his most popular child happens to be Dr. Ahmed Abubakar Gumi, who succeeded his father as the scholar of the Central Mosque in Kaduna. According to Fanikayodi, Chief Ernest Shoneko became head of state a few years after the death of Gumi's father. Meanwhile, the late Gumi once said it would be over his dead body that a Christian would rule in Nigeria. I wonder why Gumi's family hates the Christians. Fanikayodi wrote. According to Chief Femi Fanikayodi, in 1989, when President Ibrahim Babengida was in power, the founder of the Izala Muslim sect, Sheikh Abubakar Gumi, said it would be over his dead body that another Christian would rule Nigeria. He died three years later and one year after that, Christian by the name Chief Ernest Shonekon became head of state. In 2021, his son, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, told Fulani terrorists, who he claims are fighting an ethnic war because they have been neglected by government and who he believes ought to be forgiven, compensated and rehabilitated for their crimes against humanity that Muslim soldiers are not the ones that are killing them, but rather the Christian ones. He also told them to stop kidnapping Muslims, as it causes them to lose sympathy amongst the Muslim population. His father's comments were bad enough, but Sheikh Ahmed's comments are worse. They are irresponsible, reckless, dangerous and incendiary and could spark off a chain of events that can cause Nigeria and the West Africa to be engulfed in the fire and horror of war for the next 50 years. I appreciate his efforts to rescue the kidnapped, but must this be at the expense of Christian blood? Are the Christians of the North expendable? Should they be the weeping boy and the sacrificial lamb for the barbaric savages and terrorists? I really do wonder why the Gumis hate why the Gumis hate Christians so much. Is it genetic or are they just irredeemably heartless and insensitive? To make matters worse, Sheikh Ahmed has said we must not refer to these terrorists and bandits as criminals. I don't know whether to laugh or cry, and had I not known better, I would have had cause to question this man's sanity. What else do you call cold-blooded killers of defenseless women and children, if not cowards and criminals? Would he prefer we call them saints and kind-hearted charity workers? The bottom line is as follows. Inciting Fulani terrorists to target and butcher members of the Christian community in Nigeria and appealing to them to attack 
and kill only Christian soldiers while sparing the Muslim ones does not augur well for national cohesion. Peaceful coexistence and unity. It will only lead to further division and as a matter of fact, it is the path to a full-scale and full-blown ethnic and religious war, the likes of which have never been seen. This must never be allowed to happen in our country. We must, as Christians and Muslims, come together and fight the terrorists as one. There can be no peace or dialogue with mass murderers, ethnic cleansers, and genocidal maniacs. In this war, we must give no quarter. Ours is to use all means available to resist and crush them and dispatch them to the afterlife. It is left for, to God to forgive them. Femi Fandikayode concluded. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? From what Femi Fandikayode has made us to understand, it is clear that there is an agenda against the Christians which Namde Kano has always been saying and reiterating. It is only sad and unfortunate that people refuse to believe, accept, and agree with Namde Kano on this. But the way things are going, if care is not taken, there's going to be serious issues. If care is not taken, there's going to be challenges here and there. Ethnic war, ethnic crisis, as the case may be. If reckless comments, statements are not neat into the board or carefully managed, people who have the ears of the nation and the people as it were, must as a matter of importance be guided by what they see. Now we are in the jet age, social media age, where the internet does not forget. So. It is sad and unfortunate that Sheikh Gumil can come to this sort of conclusion against Christians in the nation. It is sad and unfortunate. If he has issues with the Christians, he had better come out and state it so that his position can be well known, accepted and registered. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.